This is code.org. Let's see what we have. Animation. Change the direction. Awesome. I wanted to do this. The animation tab lets you duplicate sprite animations and make changes such as flipping images horizontally. Locate and experiment with the options shown here. You can make your player's animation change the direction it faces with the player's left to right movement. Do this. Prepare an animation facing the player to the left and right. Name each animation in a way that makes sense to you. Within your player control function, add code to switch the left animation if the left key is pressed. Switch the right animation if the right key is pressed. So they're trying to show us what to do here, right? Which is excellent. They didn't used to have this. Duplicate and then the mirror button. So let me go over here to the animation tab and I'll click. And here's my alien. And I have a rightward facing one, right? He's looking to the right. So I'm going to hit duplicate now. And I'll go ahead and flip him over. Zoop. Now the annoying thing, notice he flips back over here. So what I have to do is make sure to select each frame. So here's my other frame. Click and loop. And now he's going to face that way. So I'll just rename this just so I know this is left. And maybe I'll do the same thing. I could leave this just alien. But I'll go ahead and rename this one. Right. Okay. So now I know these sprites are facing a particular way. Awesome. Now where in the code could we change? Oop. It's going to be annoyed. It's annoyed because there's no longer anything named anime, uh, named alien. I'm saying, hey, here's my player variable. Set the animation. Change its picture to be an alien. Well, nothing's called alien. I changed mine to be alien right. So I need this to say alien right. Okay, and that will be the default starting one. Let's try it now. There we are. And so I'm facing towards the right. Now, if I want it to change, right? Oh, I jumped really high. Ah. If I want to change, I'm going to hit left. If I want it to change, where could I make that occur? Well, what's making me go left when I hit left? And they already gave us a big hint here. They said, take a look at control player. So let me do that. Let me go down here to my backgrounds I made. And here is my control player. All right. So when I want to go to the left, I want its picture to look like I'm going to the left. Well, I start with setting the animation, setting the picture to what? Well, I just did because I had to change it. I set it to alien right. Set the player's animation to alien right. So now I'm going to go down here. Now, when I make a change, if the person, if the player, if I touch on the left arrow key, this is true, right? This Boolean, this is a conditional, an if statement. This Boolean, key down left, is true. If this is true, the code inside of it runs, and that's why my player is moving over. Well, if this is true, if they press left, I want it to do one other thing inside of my if, because I can have more than one command in here. And what I want it to do is, well, change the animation. Player set animation. And what do I want to do? I want it to change it to that left animation I just made. Let me give this a try. Oh, you saw it for a sec. Maybe I can get him back. Ah! <laughs> Alien murder. Um, um, okay, I'll reset. Oh, he just, all right, here we are. And left. You gotta figure out how to do this better. But now if I hit right, nope. So what do I gotta do? Well, when I hit the right key, right? So if right is pressed, now I wanna change it back. Cause it started off that I was looking right, but if I change it to left, there's no way to get it to be right again, unless I put it inside of the right if. Left. Right arrow, left arrow, right arrow, ba-da! We did it. Awesome. I can't say, wait to see what's next.